So this time around on RE6, one of the main focuses uh, was gothic horror. Uh, this concept of creating an element that really emphasized the light and dark contrast within the game. Um, we wanted to play off those elements to really create an atmosphere of uh, this kind of gothic horror idea and always keep that in the forefront of our minds when designing the lighting for this game. So for example, even if you're inside of an extremely dark area, um, there's always going to be a little bit of ambient lighting, and it's always for the purpose of expressing that horror element. So part of this started with the director, uh, and he wanted this very dramatic game and graphics that were going to emphasize this in every cutscene, in everything that happened in game. Um, and that sort of feeling and achieving that was what drove us to create the graphics for this title. Um, and one of the ways we went about preparing ourselves to do that was using storyboards. Uh, we made a lot of images to give reference, to use as reference uh, when designing the art and environments and everything for this title. Um, we had, oh, it must have been several hundred images uh, prepared just for this game. And we used those as a base so we would always have an idea of what we were trying to create so that we could achieve the director's vision of this very dramatic in-game uh, expression. So we're still using some of the processes that we uh, utilized on Resident Evil 5, um, some of the same capital and equipment. But one of the things that we're doing differently this time around is we're not just capturing the data and turning it directly into CG. Uh, we're utilizing pre -vis techniques far more extensively. Um, part of that is that uh, when we prepare a cutscene, we actually start with an actual shoot and we record live actors on a sound stage and we take, um, we take that footage and then we check to see if the quality is there, if the performance is there, if that's going to work as an in-game cutscene and once we've decided that it's up to par, uh, then we take that data, then we take that and convert it into the CG that you see in the game. <laughs> Throughout the game, depending on the situation, depending on what the story developments are, uh, the graphics and the scenery are changing, things are altering, um, and so we wanted all of this to appear very natural in real time, and this is the, those are the sorts of things that kind of made an impact on the gameplay, is these movements flowing into it, we wanted to make it look natural so that you had these very effective graphics, um, but it always looked exactly like it was meant to be there, like it was part of the gameplay, like it flowed in with everything else. So we ultimately wanted to make everything blend together and feel very natural, even if it was cutscene or gameplay. Wait. Calm the hell down, will ya? So on six, uh, there are a lot of unique aspects to every single campaign. Um, for Leon, his emphasis is horror, this kind of slow tempo, contrasting light and darkness. Uh, with Chris, it's the battlefield. And with Jake, it's pursuit, he's being chased. Um, and so these different aspects uh, come into play. Um, horror, taking on your enemies, defeating them, feeling trapped. All of these things come into play throughout the title. And so there's a lot of varied gameplay. There's a lot of variety across the product. And so what we're really hoping is that fans will play the entire thing and get that full, broad experience and truly enjoy it. That's our cue to get the hell out of here. I couldn't agree more.